Okay, we are back. My next guest, I think... Although Sandy Fatty has been nominated six times for Grammy Awards, and she's won twice for Best Gospel Performance, I suppose she came to the attention of most Americans during the uh, Liberty Weekend uh, festivities in New York City, because at the end, you heard this voice singing the Star Spangled Banner. And ABC even picked up the next night, and uh, people were, were phoning in asking who sang. Uh, she's going to come out in a moment, but she's going to be appearing August 23rd at the Indiana State Fair and begins a 35-city tour in September. This is her latest album called Morning Like This. Would you welcome, please, Sandy Patty. Looking up from the bottom seems like a long way to go. The mountain's dark and steep, the climbing is oh so slow. Your body aches, you're out of breath, you're ready to give in. Ready to give in. But don't give up, you've got the strength to make it to the end. You can pull on the power. Differences 
Yet look how we're the same We love to laugh We dream our dreams We know the sting of pain From Leningrad to Lexington The farmer loves his land worlds apart there's no misinterpreting the language of the heart language straight from the heart pulls us all together never apart and once we learn Belter, aren't you? Oh. That's what you call a belter. Didn't I read uh, your father's made a description about singing and you said it was screaming on yeah, pitch? Yeah, he, he he's always told me that singing high is just like screaming on pitch, so that's what I You're practiced. right on pitch. <laughs> we'll talk when we come back. We're going to take a break. Stay where you are. <laughs> screaming on pitch. Thank you, guys. We're talking with Sandy Patty and Jay Leno. Anyway, I don't know as much about you as I should. You were nominated six times for Grammys. You've won twice. You do predominantly gospel, mm -hmm. right? Right. Predominantly gospel music. Now, at the end of the Liberty Day weekend, right. everybody heard this glorious voice singing the Star Spangled Banner, but I'd never heard it sung like that in my life. Mm -hmm. You didn't even know they were going to use it, did you? No, I understand. I had no idea. We were sitting at home enjoying a wonderful You're from family Indiana, time is that right? from Indiana, sitting home in Anderson, Indiana, for our two-year-old two little girl. It was getting close to bedtime. We thought, well, it's time to kind of wind things down, put her to bed. And all of a sudden, this voice came over the TV, and my little girl says, Mommy, is that you singing? Oh, my goodness, it is. And we started screaming and calling family, and we were just real excited. And you didn't it. know they were going to use no, the recording? No, not at all. Not at all. Well, what has happened since then? I know I saw it, and I called the staff, and they'd already got in contact with you. I said, gee, this was a wonderful performance. Well, um, ABC called the next day and sent a team from ABC World News Tonight yeah. to do a story. And uh, I was invited to a reception with Georgia Bush, but I had to respectfully decline because uh, you had invited me first, and so... <laughs> you were supposed to go with the vice president? <laughs> uh, 
Sorry, George. <laughs> George has a lot of open dates, though. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you... Are you going to keep the date? Are you... Did he give you another? He said it's an open uh... invitation, and we really appreciated that. Were you going to go to the White House? Or... He didn't say. He said his home. So, oh, really? Yes. That's kind of nice. That's very nice. So we're excited about well, that. What's it done career-wise? A lot of people who might not have, you know, remembered mm -hmm. or that you've done all this, have things started to happen now? Doors have opened. Um, people have kind of been interested in who the voice was that right. sang. And, and, um, Where would you get the training? Obviously, you're I a natural I studied singer. in college. My parents are musicians. My dad is a, has been a minister of music all of my life. My mom's a pianist. That's the gospel in influence. Yes. Yeah. And I studied when I was in college. Um, and for about five years, and still touch base with my teacher back home do from time in? to time. Yes, I do. So now you're going to, are you going to tour now? Yes, we take off in September for a 35 city tour yeah. across the country. Funny how things go around, isn't, isn't it? Isn't that, yeah. Yeah, well, congratulations. Thank you very much. Do right. you need an opening act, uh, Jane? <laughs> I, I'll open. <laughs> we'll take a break. We're coming right back. <laughs> well, doggone it, we're back. Might as well tell the audience at home, I inadvertently, <laughs> during a break here, uh, uttered a, a word that I you wouldn't use on television, and uh -huh. all of a sudden it occurred to me, you're, you know, how to reason. your father's a minister, mm -hmm. and your mom's here tonight. <laughs> and to you too, Jay, yeah, I apologize. Like, like yes. point, counterpoint. Yes, sorry about that. Do you ever swear when you get angry? Actually, I, no, I don't. You don't? <laughs> no. Do you ever think about it? What would you say, all right, I'll give you an illustration. Okay. You're pounding a nail. <laughs> you come down right on your thumb, uh -huh. excruciating pain, uh -huh. what would you say? I would probably call my husband's name for help. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, you have great control. What would you say? I don't believe it. Get a hammer here. <laughs> <laughs> give, me a, give me a hand. Give me a hammer. <laughs> you want to hear swearing? You'll hear swearing. <laughs> Well, good. That, that's nice to have those, uh, those principles. <laughs> Will you come back with us again sometime? I'd love to. Yeah, I that's hope you have a real nice... I should have found that we had a lovely young actress, uh, Patricia Charbonneau, who was supposed to be with us tonight. We ran a little long because of Norm in the audience. <laughs> See, his wife's from Ohio. He's from Mississippi. No, he's from Ohio. You met his wife here in California, but she's from Mississippi. Right, Norm? Anyway, thank you for being here. Jay? Pleasure. Jay, thanks. Thank really, you. Thank dynamite you. having you here. Come back soon. You. Tomorrow night, cockroach expert. At... Guys, I'm billboarding a cockroach expert. A cockroach expert. Michael Bowden with a cockroach. Big, big cockroach. What a show. Leon Redbone and Terry Gar. We'll see you tomorrow. Next on Late Night with David Letterman, David welcomes Robert Klein and George Clinton. Then start your day with NBC News at sunrise.